Real Valladolid secured a crucial victory over Barcelona. Their first since 2014, boosting their chances of avoiding relegation in La Liga. The match started with an own goal by Andreas Christensen, who inadvertently headed Darwin Matches Cross into his own net. Barcelona's troubles continued as Eric Garcia conceded a penalty by fouling Gonzalo Plata, which saw Laren converted comfortably. Despite Barcelona's attempts to score, Valladolid's goalkeeper, Jordi Massip, made impressive saves to keep his former team at bay. Sergi Roberto missed a golden opportunity to narrow the deficit. In a surprising move, Barcelona substituted their goalkeeper at halftime. Valladolid extended their lead with Plata's goal, which was confirmed after a VAR review. Robert Lewandowski managed to score for Barcelona late in the game. Denying Valladolid a clean sheet, Massip made another important save to deny Ferran Torres. With this win, Valladolid moved three points clear of the relegation zone in La Liga, with two more matches left in the season. Cristiano Ronaldo showcased his vintage form as he led Al Nasser to a remarkable comeback victory against Al Shabab, despite trailing by two goals in the first 40 minutes. Ronaldo's inspired performance in the second half helped Al Nasser secure a 3 2 2 win, with Ronaldo himself delivering a classic curling shot from outside the box for the decisive goal. Celebrations erupted, and Ronaldo celebrated with his teammates. Marking his 14th league goal in 15 appearances, the victory was crucial for the title race. As Al Nasser now sits just three points behind the top spot with two games remaining. However, there are reports suggesting that the 38-year-old Ronaldo is pushing for an exit, raising questions about whether this could be his final goal for the club. According to Erling Haaland, Manchester City winning the Premier League title is a relief. After spending much of the season chasing Arsenal, City secured their fifth title in six seasons after Arsenal's defeat against Nottingham Forest. Arsenal had an eight-point advantage in April but faltered while City gained momentum, winning their last 12 league matches. Arsenal dropped points in six of their last eight games, despite spending the most days at the top. Without lifting the trophy, Arsenal's poor run in the final stretch proved costly. City favored to win a treble, including the FA Cup and Champions League finals in June, had the experience of competing for titles. Holland expressed the satisfaction of finally achieving their goal and emphasized the season-long effort and the decisive nature of the final weeks in the title race. The Spanish Football Federation has announced sanctions against Valencia following racial abuse directed at Real Madrid's Vinicius Jr. The Mestalla Stadium will be partially closed for five matches, specifically the Mario Kemp South Stand where the abuse originated. The competition committee confirmed the racist shouts towards Vinicius, considering them serious infractions that disrupted the match. Valencia will also face a fine of £45,000, with the option to appeal the sanctions within 10 days. On the other hand, Vinicius Jr.'s red card, which he received during a late scuffle, has been revoked, allowing him to be included in Real Madrid's squad for their upcoming match against Real Vallecano. That's it for today, we will be back in next one by...